I am Femi Ojambati. I am an experimental physicist. I tell light where to go in disordered materials. My name is Diana Grishina. I am an experimental physicist and nanotechnologist. I want to lock light inside the ordered media and uh, make the most use of it. I did my bachelor and master in Moscow and until last year in my master I had no idea that I'm going to go to Europe. The atmosphere to me is quite important in the group and when I visited I really felt like yes here I can work because it's really nice here. In Moscow it's very different because you don't normally talk to professors so freely. You always need to show a lot of respect and when professors are really very important then they even don't eat together with you, they just have their own cook or something like that. And here it's really amazing how very bright professors can just spend their lunch and time talking to their students very normally and freely. My final goal or my dream in my project is to be able to specifically tell light where it should go and how it should behave. Either it should be absorbed there or, or stored there infinitely and also the amount of time it should stay there. That would be my final dream. Basically the general fundamental question which we all want to answer is how to describe and what happens to light when it enters some complex media. That's why we are called complex photonic systems. So the behavior of the complex system is different from just the sum of the parts of the system and that's why there are many fundamental questions which we can answer by investigating the complex systems as a whole. One very interesting moment for me is that I was able to, I mean, when I got this result, okay, it's nice and okay, but we need to understand it. We need to know why this is so, what is going on actually. And then we developed a very simple model and to be able to understand the physics of what is going on inside. I just made a comparison of the experimental result with the theoretical prediction and wow, they just go really very well on top of each other. This, yeah, that's the moment. And what did I say? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was spending really a lot of time by uh, fabricating sample, which is basically a piece of silicon with holes. And then I put it in my setup and shine light. And normally silicon reflects some light. And then suddenly when I start to shine light on the silicon with the holes, it starts to reflect more. And it doesn't make any sense if you just think about it. It's a piece of silicon with holes, but it reflects more. And that was really awesome. That means that physics works.